It is day number five in Cancun. Woo! Although, also kind of sad because it's our last full day, which we're both very sad about. Because I think after breakfast, we're going to go down to the Mayan ruin that's on property. And yesterday they had an iguana feeding that we didn't get to go to because we went to Isla Mujeres. But apparently the iguanas like bananas a lot. So I saved a banana to feed the iguanas and hopefully they'll be out. We're going to try to go around 11 because that's what time the feeding was yesterday. So I'm thinking like maybe they'll be out there. And then probably just head to the beach, do some reading on the while laying in the beach, which is just heavenly. I think we're going to try to go to the Oceano restaurant tonight. It's like the nicer restaurant on property and do that. Be sad that we're leaving going back to reality. But it'll be a fun day. We'll have a good time. We're walking to the Mayan ruin at the resort. I have my banana. It's a little bruised. But I really hope I see the iguanas. It looks pretty good here. sculptures found in the walls. Oh, that sounds kind of gross. So we're hoping we put it in a nice sunny spot for them. See, there's a piece over there and another piece over here. Iguanas! Come out, come out wherever you are! Wait, you see an iguana? Ah, oh, let me get my banana! Michael went on iguana lookout over here and he found one. Okay, donde esta? Oh, I see him! Oh, he's, oh my god, he's really big! Okay, Michael's, Michael's gonna go feed him. Hold on. I'm a little, I'm a little nervous. But I'm also excited. You see him with the stripes? He's right there. Oh yeah, there he goes. Iguana, come back! We want to feed you! Oh my god, he's huge! Look at him. So we threw two pieces of banana, and then Michael just, ooh, oh, you hit him! <laughs> Poor guy, the concierge said he, they love bananas and strawberries, and that's what they recommend. She just leave him, he just left the banana for him. It's okay if you're shy. We just had lunch and got back from the pool. So after I stopped taking video of the iguana earlier, a second one actually came out, but he wouldn't come close to us, and we still couldn't feed them, and they just ran away from us, but we left the banana for them, for them to snack on, so hopefully they eventually ate it. And then right after we did that, we went to the pool, and we basically were just there until now. We had lunch, like, right by the pool with some sandwiches, so that was good. And then we actually just bought a couple of Souvenirs like handmade. This guy like makes stuff out of different rocks in Mexico and stone and stuff. So we actually just got some. I'll show you. I kind of unwrapped it. But this was one of them. Look at this cute little turtle. He's so cute. He like makes it all by hand. Like we saw all the vendors making them. And it's just, it's cool that they do that. So we're actually gonna go pay him now. We left the we left some of our money in the room. We ended up not having enough because it was back here. So he's like, oh, just take it, just take it, come pay me. So we came to grab the money and reapply sunscreen. 
Now we're gonna go back and pay him, and then we're gonna go sit on the beach and read our books. So we're about to go to dinner at the fanciest restaurant, the hotel, and I got this romper to wear before we left. I was like, oh, I'm gonna look really cute. And then just, just look at the, the lines and the redness. Michael says I still look nice, but I'm just like, of course I saved this for the last day. Okay, off we go. This is the like pool hut. We would get our towels, our towel hut. And then over here, you can see the beautiful beach, water, and then you come this way and you get your towels here. So we've sat there a bunch of times. And then there's the swim up bar over there, that little hut. Not little, it's a pretty big hut. And there's also like the restaurant behind it, which is where we ate on our first day. And couple other times and they'll bring food out to you when you're sitting by the pool. It's really pretty. There's a slide right here. We have, oh we didn't get we didn't do that. Oh we went in we the have to go down the slide. I know we went down the ocean Forgot. instead. Yeah. This resort is pretty big if you can't tell. So these are some of the other buildings. So we came from right over there that archway. Sort it's just more buildings. And then Oceano, which we're eating, is this building right here. It's actually open. So we're gonna go over and we're gonna check it out. We're at the Oceano. And as you can see, there's the ocean right there. It's really pretty and we're sitting outside so we get this nice breeze, like this is all open. Just look at the menu, trying to figure out what we want. And just enjoying our last night here we're a little sad about. It's okay, so a little different than in America. When you order queso fundido, it comes with tortillas. Is it like the super thick one or is it more goopy? It's pretty thick. Yeah, I don't know what that's like a... So dad, if you're watching this, queso fundido in Mexico we have discovered after ordering it multiple times for obviously experiment purposes, <laughs> is not liquidy like it is in America. It's like actually really thick. The other day we could pick the entire thing up at one fork. They gave us this like avocado sauce, which was pretty good. We were supposed to get yeah, do like do, do what Michael's doing. You like make a little tortilla sandwich almost. Hopefully it's good. So there's the pool, rocking back from dinner, and we discovered this little hammock spot. Look at this. It's so cute. They're like all in a little circle. All lit up. Just chill on a hammock. I think they're big enough for two people. Oh, this person, this person had a pint of ice cream next to their hammock. They are living life. Okay, Michael, test it out. Is it big enough for two people? Oh, oh yeah, we got this. Also, I just want to point out that Michael's wearing this handsome outfit, but then we found out he's wearing his slider slippers or slider sandals. Oh wow, you are like to the ground there. Okay, here we go. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to get it. Let me sit over here. I'm trying to get in. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. We made it. We made it! Yay! <laughs> so what did you think of dinner? I had some, I guess Mexican style ribs and they were very good. We tried them, they were very good. Yep, and you had some potatoes and some baby corns. And I got a Mexican papaya salad, which I've never actually had papaya before, but I really wanted to try it. And it was really good, it was like melony, which was like a good way to describe it, like tastes like a melon. And it was really good. And it had like a homemade vinaigrette dressing and had some baby corns on it, which was cute. <laughs> uh, okay, so then we got cheese, which is really good. Queso fundido. Queso fundido. Oh, we're moving now. <laughs> this is so fun. And we got the palm trees all above us. The 
pretty. Our last day is just about complete. We're gonna go back and do some laundry, pack, start packing. Mm, so sad. Fastest five days ever. I know, seriously. So, I think in the morning, we're just gonna like, we've been waking up early anyway, we'll just wake up early-ish probably again. And then finish packing and come and eat breakfast and go and shower and then check out and then take the shuttle back to the airport. So I think this is it for today. I was gonna say that we had a really good trip and had a ton of fun. It just went by so, 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 so fast. Hopefully we get to do something like this again. Yes, Cancun is amazing. <laughs> the weather was nice, the beach was nice, being a deal was really nice. Yep. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you again on the next vacation. Just kidding, see you tomorrow. <laughs> okay, I said I was done for the night, but I'm back. I'm sorry it's so dark, but I have to show you guys this. So earlier when Michael and I were at the beach, um, they were like setting up like an electrical cord and a lamp and tables like in the ground at the beach. Like they brought it from the hotel, dug a trench and everything for this lamp, and then like set up a table and I was convinced it was a wedding. So we just like walked over to where the edge of the pool is and I don't think it's a wedding, but look at how cute this is. This couple, sorry, this couple is having like, it looks like a date and they have like a butler it looks like and their table, like I'm just gonna show you, come on. Okay, so you see that like glow out there? That's this, their like light. And I'm trying to zoom in and it's super hard. It's as far as I can go. But, oh my gosh, look how cute. There's, there they are on their little date. And the guy is like at the table serving them. That's their light. And they're right there with the beach. You can see the moon in the background. Like, it's just so pretty. Talk about relationship goals, guys. Like, this is so cute. I'm so happy for them. Oh, he's standing up. Oh, is this happening? I hope there's a proposal happening. Cause that would be so cute. Oh, never mind. He's standing up with the waiter looking at something. He's probably not proposing right now. I'll let you guys know later if we see a proposal. 